Hey everybody and welcome back once again to Mountain Man Menu. Today I'm going to be making a big old two pound barbecued cheesy meatloaf. So let's get ready. Alright for this recipe here we're going to need a little bit of liquid smoke, some sweet baby rays or any other brand of barbecue sauce you'd like. I'm using the hickory brown sugar flavored barbecue by sweet baby ray. I'm going to need one pound of ground pork, one pound of 8515 ground beef, some of the three pepper and onion blend, you can get that from Kroger or Walmart or various other places. You're gonna need two large eggs, a package of extra sharp cheddar cheese, the block style. You're gonna need a sleeve of saltine crackers, some garlic powder, black pepper, and paprika. And you're gonna set your oven to 375 degrees. All right, guys, step one, we're gonna get us a non-stick skillet out. It's supposed to be non-stick, but it didn't work too well, start sticking. I'm gonna put a little bit of the anti-sticking spray on there. I'm gonna put it on about medium heat or so. We're gonna put some of the three pepper and onion blend in it until it's good, translucent, cooked up looking. That way we can incorporate that into the meatloaf. I don't use no exact amount. That looks about right, right about there. So we're gonna cook that up, and then we'll get ready to assemble the rest of the meatloaf. Alrighty guys, now while that's cooking up, we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix up our wet ingredients for our sauce that's gonna be mixed into the meats. Start her off, I'm gonna put about a cup and a half ooh, yeah, of the barbecue sauce. That's right about there, that's about a half. So about a cup and a half of barbecue sauce. I'm gonna put our two eggs in there. You need a crack all the way. One. Guys, I got a tiny piece of yolk in there. We can have an ant. Here we go. Now we're going to add a little bit of the liquid smoke. Just a few dashes of it. I'm going to go crazy with it or anything. Now we'll go ahead and we'll add in that garlic powder. And we'll throw some of that paprika in there. There's some black pepper in there. This is, of course, the coarse ground black pepper, so it ain't all powdery like some of the stuff you'll see. But it gets a better flavor, in my opinion. So I want that. Alright, now we're just going to take this whisk, mix her all good pretty well. Like that egg all broke up in on there. Here we go. Good mix, but nice and pretty looking. Now we gotta make sure we keep moving around our onions and our peppers. I'm going to burn them, we're going to brown them up a little bit, get them nice and soft. Alright, now what we're going to go ahead and do while we're waiting on the onions and the peppers to finish up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our meat to the bowl that we're using to make the meatloaf with. Break it up a little bit as you put it in there, just like that.
that pork, it's going to give it a real good barbecue, authentic flavor. Always good to have that barbecue pork. And of course, to all of my Jewish and Muslim followers and subscribers here to the channel, of course, you can substitute that with more beef, just two more, it's two whole pounds of beef. That's okay. If you don't like pork, you don't like pork, buddy. And if you can't eat it for whatever reason, you can't eat it. We're not going to hold that against you. We all just got to love each other, right? All right, got her all good and broke up there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the heat off the peppers and onions, get one more little mix. We're going to go ahead and put them right on top of the beets back right there. That will help cool them down a little bit. That way whenever we put our egg mixture in there, you don't end up cooking the eggs and we got scrambled barbecue sauce. Nobody wants that. That sounds terrible. There we go. All right, now the next step, we're gonna take this sleeve of saltine crackers. We're gonna break them up. Once you got them all good and kind of cut, open it up and cover it. And as you guys will notice, I have already removed my wedding ring because I don't want my wife to kill me. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dump this sauce right on top of them breadcrumbs. The sauce and the eggs and the seasonings and all that stuff. Put it right on top here. Just like that. Comes the fun part, guys. We're going to just dig in there like that. Oh, yeah, we're going to mix her all up. Like I always say, keep that one hand clean in case you go grab something and go have a bunch of meat all over you and sauce. You can't see it on camera, but right now my cats are staring me down. They smell this food. They're looking at me, all three of them. So make sure you get everything all good and evenly distributed. Looks pretty good to me. Let me wash my hand off here so I can get me a, get me a pan. We'll put it together, guys. All right, guys, the next step, what we're going to do, we're going to take our meat here. We're going to get about half of it and we're going to layer this pan with a 13 by 9 baking pan. Just smooth it out as good as you can. It ain't got to be perfect. looking for perfect guys when it comes to food or cooking and things like that you're going to be looking for a long time now we got it down we got all the air pressed out of it make sure there's no big old gaps to hold grease while it's cooking or anything like that now we're going to move on to the next step all right, guys, we're going to take our big block of extra sharp cheddar cheese. We're going to cut it a long ways, just like that. I'm going to put it right on top of it, just like that.
do it right. Should look just like it. That's a whole block of cheese right there. Half pound, I believe, what goes into that. Yeah. Alright, now, I'll take the rest of the meat, put it right on top of it. Just like that. Spread it out as good as you can. All the way out. I'm going to tuck the cheese back in just a little bit. That's fine, guys. We're creating magic here, trust me. Press down on it. Make sure that all the air is out. Now, what I like to do is I like to go around the edge like that. It's good and sealed. Press it down again. Just like it. Where there's no, no gaps in the meat where the juices are going to escape. Because all the juices are going to get captured by them bread crackers or crackers or whatever that I've stuck in there. Cross like you're making your cake. This is a meat cake kind of layered meat cake. Why not? We're gonna call it that. Right, guys, that already looks good. But I don't want to get food poisoning, so I can't eat it yet. All right, guys. Now we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it in the oven at 375 degrees for about an hour and a half or so. I'm going to check it an hour and 15 minutes just to see how we're coming along, but usually it's about an hour and a half. So we'll put it in there and we'll be back as soon as it's done. Alrighty guys, we're going to go ahead and give her a check here, see how we're looking. up look at it right here look at that got the delicious bottom layer we got the cheese layer then we got the top layer on top of that give that a taste somebody for that meatloaf. That is slamming right there. That's very, very good meatloaf. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you very much for watching here at Mountain Man Menu. Go ahead and give a big old thumbs up. Leave you a comment. Let me know what you'd like me to cook next. 
make sure to hit that subscribe button so I can bring you more of these awesome recipes. And y'all have a good one.